Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your weapons and add things like scopes and attachments, all those cool things to your weapons and actually gear in Stalker 2. If this video is helpful for you, please click that subscribe button to support the channel. So once you've gotten through uh, not very far of the story, you'll be introduced to this town here um, of Zalicia. And once you get through the cutscene at the bar, which will happen pretty much automatically, you'll come outside and there'll be this guy talking to you. He'll want you to go and talk to a guy called Len. So uh, there's the bar that we just come out of. And the building you're going to want to go into here is this little garage. I will also show you where you can buy some weapons in this video, because why not? In here, in this garage, is a guy called Len sat on the couch. Talk to Len's. And then on the bottom right hand corner you can see there's a key bind, which for me is Q, to upgrade. So, then we open all the things we can upgrade. We have here everything, just weapons, just armor, or just gas masks, etc. I don't have any gas masks at the moment, but it's the same concept for all of it. Let's start off with my Viper 5 weapon, okay? You can see here if it's equipped or not equipped. We can see the damage, penetration, oh my, rate of fire, range, and accuracy. We can also repair it in here, but this one doesn't need repairing. So what you'll now see is that there's two white circles. One at the front here, and one just above the trigger. If I click the one above the trigger, you can see we have upgrades. So if I click on this first one, you can see here, uh, it basically tells us a little bit about it. Wear and tear, 15% um, percent is on there. If confirmed, you'll spend oh this amount. It's basically going to work like a skill tree in the fact that if you want these ones, you need to get these ones. So if I click on this one here, um, in fact, let's look at this one. This says rubber layer, partially dampens recoil. And can you see on accuracy here, there's a green bar. That is showing you if you get this weapon upgrade, this is how much the accuracy will improve. And it shows you recoil decrease 15%. I cannot install it, however, because I do not have individual adjustment upgrade and i don't have enough coupons so one you don't have enough money you're too poor and the other one you need the individual adjustment upgrade what is the individual adjustment upgrade that's just this one in the middle and this is what i mean by it works like a skill tree if you're wondering about scopes and attachments we're gonna have to actually do something else as well um so basically what we'd have to do here is get the individual adjustment upgrade and then we can get um, one of these. Some of them actually have negatives here. You can see the chain, we can change the caliber to 45. This modification can only be done once since it involves replacing the barrel to accommodate the new caliber. And you can see here it adds 20% damage, but the recoil will decrease by 20%. And you can have those choices here, for example. Then if I click on this one here, you can see there's modules and upgrades. So again, we've got tin coating on barrels in the surface. Um, you can also add this one here. And then again, we can go up um, to these ones. And then again, this one will need um, one of these extra upgrades. Now down here, we also have modules. There's a scope mount, allows the user to attach a range of scopes to the weapon. So for this weapon, you do actually need to add the scope mount in able to attach scopes to the weapon. There's a laser designator. Again, we can add this as a module to the weapon. For the scopes, if you're saying, okay, Javier, well, I can't see scopes in this upgrade menu, you do need to find the scopes out in the world. And I've seen people have issues with um, not being able to attach scopes to certain weapons. There are different ones that will fit different weapons. In my personal opinion, I don't think this has been very, this has been done very well that would be a criticism to the game in my opinion i know it's not meant to be a really easy game but things on the ui and how things like that work shouldn't really affect the difficulty um so if you are having troubles it may just be that you can't use the scope you want on that weapon some weapons you may find may already have those attachments or scopes etc i believe as well the same thing is going to be on your armor. Let's look at my leather jacket. We've got multiple different points here um, where we can upgrade things like here. And again, you need silicone sealing, which silicone sealing is here. Again, it's like a skill tree, okay? And there's different um, things that we can do um, onto this. So there you go, guys. That is actually how um, you are going to be able to upgrade and allow your weapons to use things like scopes and attachments. In Stalker 2. 
If you do have any questions, um, just put them down in the comments below in case I've missed anything or anything. I can always make add-on videos to this to help you guys out or just answer back to questions that you may have. If this was, again, useful for you, please click that subscribe button and check out all of my tutorials I've got on Stalker 2 in the playlist you now see on screen.